I just wanted to get back when I started talking about what is a faith and what is a public education. My girlfriend called me up and she said, hey, you still didn't say what a faith was. What a faith is. A free, it's an abbreviation for a free and appropriate public education. I think we need to just ask ourselves, what is public education? And I can tell you, for our children, public education is a modified behavior because that's what California sits back on. The willful defiance issues, all the issues where children are choosing not to do their best, making a choice not to get the class on time, making a choice. Um, you know, all these games that they play around public education is insanity. I remember when my kids were in high school, there were teachers that would lock the door as soon as the bell rang. Kids didn't make it to class on time. They had to go get a pass. 30 minutes or more is considered a truancy and truancies are handled by the district attorney. Absences, absenteeism is handled by the district attorney. Those things can cause your parents to lose custody of your children. I, I really don't understand that we don't understand the power in education or our demise with public education. Because for our children nationwide, they're not, they're not getting educated. It's all about behaviors. And, and yes, I would say transition to task is a behavior. Teaching kids how to learn is a behavior. And it is all modified behavior. But when it comes to 12 years of issues of behavior, discipline issues, or not teaching to the disciplines, then we just need to ask ourselves. Because right now, I'm looking at Sacramento City Unified School District, and I understand the 80% of the children that are enrolled in Sac City Unified School District are the two to three grade levels below. How does the black community even tackle that kind of, uh, how do you tackle that kind of data? Especially when you don't have a voice. I, I used to go to the board meetings all the time. I attended board meetings for 20 years or more. People would say, well, why are you over there giving those people a hard time? Because they deserve to have a hard time because I understood the bigger picture. And I think just following the rules and sending your kids to public school, you're just following a process. You're just doing what others have done before you. But choice is everything. You have to choose to put your children in a position where they can be successful, where they're learning. My God, understand that is the difference between homelessness, death, and being rich and being successful. That, it's that great, it's huge, it's a huge issue because so many, many, many people, it doesn't matter, white, black, whatever, it means many people are not getting educated. So we're dealing with people who have less than an eighth grade education when you're dealing with people who are working for public entities. Also, they didn't graduate. I mean, you know, used to be that you didn't have to have a high school diploma. Now you can't get a job without a high school diploma. And and what is that high school diploma? The equivalency of eighth grade? Eighth grade. Not beyond the eighth grade, just eighth grade. That's what the high school diploma equals. But if your parents were working with you and working with the school and they understood, you might end up at least at the 12th grade level ready for college and prepared to take that next step. But if you're not, you've got to spend the two years that you would spend in a junior college just picking up the pieces and realizing that you didn't learn. My goodness, I'm almost at four minutes. I gotta take a pause here because I'm gonna upload it and I'll talk to you soon. I'm gonna get back to you. Hopefully I'll get back to you later on this evening, but if I don't, just look for me tomorrow. I'm gonna come on every day, every single day until I can communicate what's really going on. Because uh, willful defiance comes into play every day when it comes to African American children. And Betsy DeVos is saying that, you know, the harsh discipline issues that are happening in our community, 
well perhaps they can have some flexibility and still getting the money for federal and state dollars to help low-income children when they're not making a benefit that's what you need to understand when they're not graduating our children what are they doing to us prison is real you want to pause it <laughs>